This is the Air Hogs Helix X4 Stunt. It's about $65 to $75 depending on where you purchase it from. And it's a pretty small aircraft. You can see it almost fits in my hand. It has a foam body, so it's really designed to be flown indoors only. If you take it outdoors, it's very hard to control because the wind will pick it up and carry it away. Um, we're going to take it outside in a few minutes, and I'll show you what I mean. The power button is uh, right here on the top, and these are the controls for the Helix. They're pretty nice. They have self-centering sticks, and uh, a lot of people like that. There are three uh, settings for the stunts that the Helix can perform, and those are down here. So basically you just press the switch to whatever stunt you want and then you can press the button and it will perform the stunt as long as there is a battery charge to, to do it. The one thing I don't like about this uh, the Helix is it requires 8 AA batteries which can get pretty expensive. Some of the other drones I have require maybe like 3 AAAs but this one is really battery heavy. The 8 AA's can actually be used to recharge the drone on the go you can turn this dial and pull the charging cable out and just plug your drone in there to recharge it. I wouldn't really recommend that though. I always charge it with USB. To turn the drone on you press this button and the lights will start flashing because it's looking for your controls. Then you turn the controls on and the lights will turn solid. To start the rotors, you have to lower the throttle all the way down and start up from there. There go. This is actually one of the, the louder drones I have as well, and we're going to take it outside and see how it flies. You can already see instead of flying straight up it's kind of struggling against the wind. There's a pretty decent breeze blowing at my back. It's carrying the drone um, away from me. I'm going to try to keep it out of these trees but uh, eventually it's going to just keep going in that direction. I'm trying to bring it back towards me now but it's just it's not it's not wanting to come back and eventually it's going to lose uh, radio signal as soon as it gets far enough out. And there it goes, you can see it falling. So would I recommend the Air Hogs Helix X4 stunt? Uh, despite that crash, um, I still think I would as long as you're not predominantly flying it outdoors. For indoors, I think it's a great little drone. It's got the rotor guards on it so you're not going to hurt anybody, you're not going to hurt any of your furniture or your walls, and you're not really going to hurt the drone itself. It's pretty sturdily built. And um, so I think still think it's a buy for the price. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe to our channel so you can see more. Thanks.